Hello everyone, this is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time on a Trustfire MC1. Now I was sent this by Trustfire directly, they wanted me to test and review this new light from them. Comes in this box, this is a tiny EDC light, so great for everyday carry. Pocket carry, anywhere you want to clip it onto. It's going to provide you up to a thousand lumens of light output. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at the specs on the back of the box. As you can see there, and I'll pan back up to the top. Alright, so let's wait no further. Let's take a look and see what's inside. Now I had done a review on Trustfire lights uh, many years ago actually when I had a blog online so it's kinda nice to have gotten in touch with them again through email and they also belong to my Facebook group so we're gonna take everything apart here and you get one user manual pretty well detailed same goes for the back and you get a key ring that we put it on your keychain and one o-ring and this is a USB magnetic charger on this so that's nice so you can easily just connect it to it without having to worry about water getting into your light so it helps stay dry and they provide you one lanyard we'll see here and it's a little a little tight so wish it was a little bit bigger but in any case I'll let you know on that so now let's go ahead take a look at the light there it is now this must be a new logo of theirs so it doesn't have the flame on it anymore that's the USB charging port there and it's a two-way clip on here that's nice so you can wear it on your baseball cap if you want some type of knurling here but it's not rough so it's more for cosmetic and there we go then we got the flame there on the bottom there it's good that they kept that there so you know it's trust fire but that looks nice too. Side switch. It's got the signature blue bezel and the power switch. Kind of reminds me of Olight. But they don't have a copyright on colors, so. But it definitely looks nice. It's got some heat sink in here welds on the other side show it to you up close literally smaller than my thumb so it's a real tiny light also I'll show you another thing it does All right, so now I'll show you another feature this has on it great for EDC magnetic and that's nice comes in handy you could stick it to something not super strong on the magnet but definitely strong enough for everyday basic use and you can remove this clip if you don't want it but the style and design is nice 
Now it is small. Tiny, actually. And we'll look at this here. Pretty nice that it has this feature on there. And it's strong, too. It's not going anywhere. Easy to charge that on the go. Now the machining and finish on this is very nice. Not seeing any issues. Looks even across the body there. Has a little bit of semi-gloss to it. Looks really nice. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the special optics. Behind this special optics is a Cree XP-L High T6 LED. It's going to give you a really nice floody beam. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you the insides. Tail spring, small light there, so spring is it's going to be a light duty. Now this is a complete kit, so it comes with everything you need, including the battery. And we've got a truss fire. The included battery here is an IMR 16340. This is a 650 milliamp protected cell button top. So again, adds a lot of value to this light. That way you're ready to go right out of the box. Well greased threads. Straight contact point down in the side of there. Alright, so now let's go ahead and put it all back together. Let's go through the UI. Alright. Okay, the UI is real simple on this. You're going to press and hold to turn that on. Alright. And we're going to go ahead and click on it after that. A lot of light coming out of that. You can see the beam is a large spot there. It does have a little bit of a spill here, as you can see. But there's nothing real sharp on the edges so it just kind of bleeds off and that's pretty typical on these type of lights yeah. and now with it on high you can go ahead and press and hold to turn that off you can click it once to see your battery level that will turn red it will start to blink when you need to recharge this battery we're going to go ahead and turn it back on just so you know it does have memory mode and then from there you can cycle back down okay now that we're back on the lowest level we can turn this light up back off now you can turn it on and keep pressing the button will get you to strobe so it's hidden and that is a variable speed on that so it's pretty distracting and that's at the highest output then again you can press and hold to turn that off and if you want to turn it back on it does start right back where you left off so super easy to use on this little light or should I say tiny really impressive definitely easy to hide this on you carry this without anybody knowing always have light in a spur of a moment alright well let's wait no further Let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. We are out here in the darkness with the Trustfire MC1. Tiny little guy. Let's check it out, see how it does. There's the lowest light output. Doing really good. And you can easily see up to 35 feet. There it is on the fence. A 
There it is on the water spout. You can see it's making 35 feet on the lowest light output. That is impressive. We're going to go to the next level here. There's the next level. A lot of light coming out of this. And faintly making the tree of life. A little bit of PWM on here. Seeing it on the camera, but I'm not seeing it with my eyes. 65 feet to that tree. From where I'm standing. There it is on the fence. Kind of see real floody beam coming out of this little light. All right, we're going to go to the next level here. Look at that. <laughs> it's huge. Beam. Very floody. A lot of light. That's 65 feet to that tree. 35 feet there to the water spout. And you can see it's making the tree of life. How nice is that? All from this tiny little light. <laughs> we'll do a before and after here. Before and after. Yeah. Do one more pan with this light. It's not bad at all. Especially for the price. Real floody beam. You can see way out to the sides. Almost making that park over there. Tree line. Fence line. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed those night shots from this little tiny guy. This is pretty impressive. Definitely has more than enough brightness level to appease anybody that uh, chooses to carry one, uh, especially for EDC. Um, this having a magnetic base, you could stick it to the roof of your car if you're working on it in an emergency. You can carry this on your baseball cap two-way clip on there is always a plus and uh, that magnetic charging capability on this is a really nice plus on that as well the indicator there lights up uh, when you're charging it will be red and it will turn green when it's full because it already is full and uh, it did really well the battery that's included um, I did test it it's right at about 570 milliamps so you know it's pretty typical uh, for that small of a cell and it should provide good run times on this of course the thousand lumens is going to step down after about a minute so that's still quite a good run time on this but it will get toasty in your hand if you run it on medium it, it only gets warm so that's impressive still a lot of light on medium especially if you're using it for just your everyday carry um, on you and like I said it's nice to have a little headlamp on your baseball cap I don't wear baseball caps but if you do this would definitely be something of interest to most people that need an everyday carry and these aren't that badly priced so I want to thank Trustfire again for sending me this to review now if this is something you're interested in getting I'm gonna leave a link to where you can get this down in the description area. Now I'm also working on a discount code with Trustfire so if I'm able to get that I will leave that with the link to where you can get this should you be interested in getting it. Well that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please share, like, and subscribe. That way I can bring more of these Trustfire lights to you in the future. 
Thanks for watching. Take care.